kill one. Why not? YOLO. Hello, Tiberius Stargazer here again for day 32 of the Catch Providence War. What a day it was. In an uncharacteristically large showing, Providence Block formed up to defend the system of ZQ TAC Z3Y. ZQ is the first Provi Block station system in Catch, and over 290 ships from the Providence Block formed to destroy the Hero Sovereignty Blockade units that had been deployed in the system. While Hero managed to form their own fleet of 150 ships, they were greatly outnumbered. The track record for the Hero fleet doctrine has proven on a number of occasions to be able to defeat Providence forces even when outnumbered. Even so, reinforcements from N3 in the form of the Unthinkables and the Predictables arrived to bolster Hero forces up onto a more equal footing. For a Hero FC perspective on the fight, you can see Blue Ice's video by clicking on the image on screen. What Hero Forces did not expect was a radical change in the Doctrine from Providence. Biding their time and waiting on the Engate and the system, Hero Forces and allies jumped into the middle of a fleet consisting of Newting Armageddons and Dominixes. The fate of the Hero fleet was sealed, as logistics ships were targeted and rendered inactive by the heavy barrage of Newts, Sides were removed from field of ease, and scimitars were picked off one by one shortly after. While the bulk of the main fleet managed to pull range from the gate, it was severely weakened. The bulk of the fire from the main fleet picked off straggling Ferroxes before turning their attention to the N3 fleet, and they were quickly decimated with over 8 billion Isk in ships destroyed in quick succession. While Hero and M3 did their best to whittle down Providence Logistics, it was ultimately for nothing after a Sino was lit and two triage archons entered the field, giving Providence battleships the much needed boost to their survivability. The remaining N3 and Hero forces withdrew from the field, and after that attempted some hit and run attempts to harass Providence forces. But even after getting reinforcements, Hero and N3 were unable to take control of the field. However, the biggest shock of the battle, however, was the Pandemic Legion fleet in their usual intervention, which they brought 38 Tempest Fleet issues to the fight, had every single ship destroyed in a single bombing run. While I wasn't on grid to catch this, Tristan Uknara of the Ulai Federation was there to catch it in his spectacular video, which you can now view by clicking on screen now. So in what was a surprise victory for Providence Block Forces, the SPUs were eventually taken down and the Hero Forces withdrew back to our home system in GE. So until my next update, this is Tiberius Stargazer signing out and reminding you to always be brave.